And how that is comfortable, I will never know. Hello friends. Do you work for the sake of working? Benjamin Honeycutt, a post-workist, says American society has an irrational belief in work for work's sake. Throughout history there have been inventions that people thought would make work obsolete. Things like that machine that makes fabric, um, computers, now robotics. A lot of people hate their jobs, but the reality is they'd be more miserable if they did nothing. That's this article I read on The Atlantic. It's called A World Without Work. And it talks about how people are turning away from work, especially men in their prime, which is um, young adulthood, I guess. I've also been thinking, gee, I've had a good vacation. Maybe it should, maybe I should go back to work because I'm running out of money. I'm, I'm trying to find some things that I could do that aren't a job that are more of a thing I do for money, <laughs> which is kind of a job. Thinking of selling things on eBay again. I'm going to Dragon Con this September. It's in Georgia. So that's going to take a, a chunk of change. And I've got a, and I've got a bunch of stuff I could sell on eBay. I do have a little bit of money left in savings, but I feel like I I got to do something for work again. I keep thinking of software I could sell and the problem with that is I, I I rarely finish software projects. I'm really tired right now. <laughs> I was tired yesterday evening, so I took a two-hour nap, and now I'm up later than I would normally be, or up earlier. I don't know, I, I just keep advancing my time schedule, which I'm fine with, but, you know, other people aren't, and society isn't. Can we, can we go somewhere with this video? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Twitch streams. I'm not a big fan of the game streams. I like things that are kind of chill, because I like watching the Twitch stream while I'm working on JavaScript. Uh, so far, so good on a video every day. Uh, I've been going for over a week, a little over a week, I think. I didn't really plan this, but it's like once I get into a groove like this, I don't want to stop. And if I stop, then it'll stop for a while. So I want to keep it going. The problem is, nothing I'm doing makes money. This article about a world without work gave a list of things that make people happy. Purpose, meaning, identity, fulfillment, creativity, autonomy. Things that psychology has shown are essential for well-being. Purpose? I'm kind of, I'm kind of lacking purpose. Um, I get a little purpose from the pursuit of getting a video online every day. That's uh, and purpose, getting better at JavaScript so I can make better products with or make products, period. Meaning, um, that's kind of the same. Meaning, meaning means something. I don't know, I just like to get better and I don't know, maybe I don't have meaning. <laughs> identity, yeah, I have identity from, from my hobbies here. Um, I'm a hacker, yeah, I like calling myself a hacker because I feel like I'm from the future, Ghost in the Shell or something. I don't know. Fulfillment, um, that Noah Weather Radio thing, I was pretty fulfilled after after finishing that and, and getting the thanks from that. Creativity, oh yeah, that's that's like number one from, from YouTube and developing software. Autonomy, autonomy, that's like on your own. Um, yeah, there's a lot of that here. There's mostly that here. <laughs> I don't know, how else would you describe autonomy? I might have to Google that. Okay, it's like freedom, independence, and self-governance. Yep, there's, there's that here. Purpose, meaning, identity, fulfillment, creativity, autonomy. All these things psychology says are essential for well-being. Does your job have those things? According to this article, the average job does not. My brain is just done. It's like asleep already.